What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for checking out the channel. I appreciate it. If you guys are new, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's free. It takes a minute. Um, and that shows me you show me love um, on the YouTube. And that means uh, it shows me that you guys care. You, sh you, you show appreciation for the work I do. And uh, that will allow me to drop you guys more free free plays here on the channel. Um, but you will find my plays every day here on the Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, click the link down below. Or if you just like watching videos to, um, to see how scripted and uh, rigged all these games are. Because that's exactly what they are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about the game today that I had, that I liked here. Um, this was the Nets and Raptors game. So yeah, Nets and Raptors game today. So here's what my notes put. As you see here, it is it was done at 1.54 a.m., well before the games are played. I said, Raptors can stay on 13 wins, Nets equal 13. Um... They can stay on 15 losses, 15 days left in the year, or get their 16th loss on the 16th. Raptors or it was 10 and 4 at home. They can fall to 10 and 5, 15 days left in the year, 105, kind of like 15. Then I put in out some head-to-head -head stats. But here's here's what really got me on the Nets here. Check this out. The Raptors coach before this game, he was 224 and 153. With a loss, he fell to 224 and 154. Because Toronto Raptors and Jermontre equals 224 and 154. Nets coach also improved to 16 and 7. 167 is the 39th prime. New York and 39. I put, I would favor the Nets. The Raptors coach following the 224 and 154 stands out. And as you see here, the Nets won by three. They was down by 18. I watched this game. They was down by 18 points. And they get their 18th one of the season. Kyrie Irving with the game winner buzzer beater. It was like a crossover step back buzzer beater. So as you see here, halftime, they was down 62 to 52. Which means they had some good odds. Good odds live. Katie drops 32. Freddie drops 39. Okay. But yeah, here... Let's check out the look at the Raptors coach. I'm sure they didn't update it yet. So you're gonna see. So yeah, they didn't update it yet. So look at it. Look at his stats before the game. Look. So he was 199 and 137 in the regular season. Look at his playoff. He's 25 and 16 in the playoffs. So you do 137 plus 16 is 153. 199 plus 25 is 224. So he fell to 224 and 154. And in Gematria, Toronto Raptors equals 224154. Toronto. See that? Like, perfect. Like, how doesn't that come through? Easy. Look at that. I like, we, we like littles like that. Also, I didn't even put my notes, but Brooklyn Nets equals 154. So he gets his 154th loss versus the Brooklyn Nets equals 154. He stays on 224 win. He gets his 154 loss because Toronto Raptors, the team he coaches for, equals 224-154. When you see riddles like that, they usually they usually cash. They're usually cash money. So that more, number of kind of those riddles we like for. And the Nets had good value. Even before the game, they was like minus 120, minus 110. And then going down by 18, that's like plus 300, plus 350 live. That's what that's what you can do. You wait for the great riddles. You don't got to play every day. But you wait for the right, right riddles. And then even if you don't want to take them pregame, usually in the NBA, both teams share the game. Like 60, 70% of the a, a time every game, like the team's going to, like both teams are going to trail. But... The Nets had a roll to win, so they came back and won, even though down by 18. So, yeah, we also put another game here. I said more of a riskier type of game, but I would favor the Mavericks because Dallas in 13 goes against Portland. And Mavs coach staying on 44 losses stands out. Blazers did indeed get their 13th loss because Dallas equals 13. That's usually a big number with Dallas. It has felt in the NBA so far this season. That's why I said it's more of a riskier type of game. But if I was to play it, I would go with Dallas because of Dallas in 13. And what do you know? The Mavericks are smacking on the Blazers, 128 to 105. So, yeah, another great, perfect day again on the Patreon. Once again, we do it again. And a uh, great value live. If you wait like yesterday, the TV game we had, they was trailing. They came back on one great value live. Today, Nets had value live. Also, if you took the Nets and Mavericks, a good parlay option. Or if you just straight them, 
It's whatever you want to do. I just put out the work, give you my thoughts, and uh, you make your own calls. But yeah, just wanted to show how rigged and scripted the NBA is once again. We keep exposing the NBA. We do it time and time again, every single day. If you haven't already, you want to join us, come join us. If not, just show love to the YouTube channel. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can get you guys out of uh, play here shortly, maybe. We'll see how things go. But the main focus is getting out these notes every day on the Patreon and, uh, you know, just exposing and giving my thoughts. And uh, people can use that to their advantage. With the Nets down by 18, no problem. Come back and win with the coach falling at 224 and 154 because Toronto Raptors equals 224 and 154. Doesn't get any easier, better, simple than that. Congrats to the winners. Um, I will see you guys later. Um, so, yeah, JSP out.